What's up everyone, in today's video I'll show you how you can make an advanced trading journal using Notion where you can basically display all your trades in a list overview like this with the pair, the day, the session, the quarter, the point of interest, whatever you want to add as a property but also link this to a calendar overview so you can now keep track of your trades way way better you can see how you did for the week for the month and it's very very customizable because you can change and choose what you want to display as a property right here i just choose if it's a win or a loss and the percentage but you can even just add the chart link right here or i don't know the session you trade right here and then basically just click on this and view more information which you see in this list overview also so i'm gonna explain you everything how you can set this up yourself so make sure to stick to the end of this video so first of all if you don't already have notion download it it's free on the internet um, it's an app i basically use it for everything in my life it's way better than just notes from iphone because here you can have databases you can link databases you can have way more things um, you can customize your text way more uh, so make sure you have notion downloaded and then you can follow along with this video so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the sidebar and then basically we're gonna create a new page let's call this trading journal for me it's gonna be a test and basically what we're gonna do is now expand view and then click enter so what we're gonna do right now is create a database so click slash and then view and then click on table view so we don't already have a database so we're gonna click on new database right here we're gonna call this also trading journal or whatever you like and then we can start adding properties for each item in that database so an item is basically a trade so the name of that item is gonna be the uh, pair I recommend doing the pair right here so let's do euro USD right click on this property let's call this pair and also give this a symbol of a cherry whatever you like let's create the second property which is most likely gonna be the date so edit property and then we can choose a type of the property and let's do the date for this and now we can give this name date and so now we have the pair the date and we can click on this and it will display the date you can just pick from it and it's that easy create another property and right now let's do just um, bias so the bias is just you can write down text so let's just do a text property call this bias and then basically you can write down right here daily bullish or whatever you like you can also do different types of properties so if you want to select multiple things you can create a multi-select um, and we can basically use this for like a uh, point of interest right and then you can create options for this so maybe for valley gap order block um, equilibrium whatever you like and if you now click on the cross right here you can basically just next time you take a trade just choose from the list of your point of interest confluences and that will automatically put it right there so let's create some other things maybe the outcome so for this it's gonna be a select so of course a difference between select and multi-select you can create multiple things so for this we're only gonna have one option it's either a win or a loss you can even just change the color of the selected item so for a win of course gonna be green or whatever you like and let's call this the outcome and so now you can just choose one of the two loss or win if you pick another one it's gonna be the other one but here it's multi-select so you can also add like for value gap um, and that will be also displayed right there so let's create the pnl maybe um, that's gonna be a number um, and then the type of the number is gonna be a percentage but if you want to display that in us dollars also possible but i just like to see my wins in percentages um, instead of dollars so i'm gonna click on percentage and i'm gonna call this pnl and right now if i made one percent on my trade i just click uh, in this box but in one and it will convert it to a percentage and so we can use these properties to then later on display this on our calendar view so let's create one other property for maybe displaying the chart so that's going to be a link to trading view um i don't know what it is i uh, maybe url yes url and then we can call this um, chart um, enter and now we gonna take a chart let's just take one for example and then enter right here and now you can just click on this and it will uh, display um, on a new window so right now we've made a trade recap basically with the pair the date the bias we can basically adjust everything you like but now the most important thing is how you can link this to 
a calendar view. So basically what we did is we created a database and we can basically create multiple views of one database. So this view is just a list overview, right? We can just create another trade right here, TBP, USD at another date um, and then click everything you want. Use this very simple uh, multi-select and select loss. This is minus 2% loss, for example. So minus two and it will convert it to a percentage. Just copy this same chart. So now what we can do is we can edit this view and rename it to just the list overview, list overview. And now we can create another view of the same database, but this is gonna be the calendar overview. So create new view. So you need to click on this plus and then use calendar. So now it's only displaying the title, but we can even just add multiple properties. So what we can do right now, is go to um, our list overview and see what is the most important thing that I want to see on a calendar. For me, it's going to be the PNL, the win, and maybe the chart. So what we can do is go back to our calendar view and click on these three dots and then click on properties. And basically here we can see uh, and, and select what we want to show on the calendar view. So for me, it's going to be PNL, outcome, and maybe the chart is also nice. And now you can see every trade you took on a calendar overview with the um, win, the loss, with whatever property you want to add. For me, I think I want to display also the outcome like this. Um, and then you can even switch it up like this. I don't want the point of interest. So this is gonna be it. And maybe it's gonna be like shrink down because it's centered in the page. But if you want to have a more stretched out view, you can click right here in the top corner of Notion and you can just toggle full width and this is basically going to make it much much more nicer so now i can see every trade i took uh, it's linked to this database where you will basically add a new trade recap after you took a trade and then you can just see and track your progress on a calendar view and basically if i click on trading view it should just open a new chart yes so that's very very nice so that's basically it a very nice interactive uh, trading journal where you can add every trade with whatever property you like and also see it on a calendar view so if you like this video i would really appreciate a thumbs up or comment if you have any questions just let me know and yeah i hope you have an amazing day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out